Hey man, you ever looking to flatter? All right, here's a little clip from yesterday, uh, September 20th, 2019. Um, see these clouds on the horizon. I was expecting it uh, to get all blocked off. Um, but that wasn't the case. Um, actually, it was a very nice uh, sun departure, as far as I'm concerned. Also, too, uh, there was a... Uh, a swarm of dragonflies, and I mean a swarm of dragonflies that was flying all around me. Some even buzzed me around my head, my ears, because um, I was just sitting in one spot, squatted down next to my camera, sitting at 28 inches off the water. Um, but one of the things that I noticed was on uh, some of my other footage at 28 inches, I could see boats clearly in the water much further out than the boats that I saw on this day. But that's another story. Here's a little something I said while I was out there. So check it out. <laughs> you think we're rolling backwards? <laughs> we're, we're spinning to the east as the sun sets in the west. <laughs> yeah, that sounds a little crazy, right? As you're watching the sun you're slowly being tilted backwards um away from it mm -hmm. okay the heliocentric model is a very very complicated model you got all kinds of uh very complicated uh things going on like gravity uh you know this all the spinning of earth spinning this way and that way and twirling through the milky way galaxy and all these uh, really unknown speeds, or actually no speeds, because I don't believe Earth is spinning. Uh, it's obvious that you know clouds uh, will defy that spin, that spin, and uh, go the opposite way of the Earth spinning and be able to catch up to the Earth's spin. In other words, clouds coming out of the west can actually go faster than that spin, go traveling toward the east. And just blow right by the sun and everything else. So how is that possible on an earth that spins in only one direction? It's not feasible in my eyes. But hey, who am I but it? some dumb idiot with a camera, right? That's what the trolls say. Go get educated. Read a book. But you know, <laughs> I'm always saying this. We were taught the same stuff as they were. And you know, <laughs> they just don't realize that, you know, we question it, so we go out and we investigate it, and to our amazement, we're finding that we can see much farther than what uh, science claims, um, what all these trolls claim. Now, this sun is a, would be a good example of a sun to use um, compared to my last sun video that I put out. Um because if you wait till it gets just right to the edge of the water and, you know, you time them, um, you'll notice that uh, the last sun video I put out, the sun disc, um, took much, much longer to set once it reached that horizontal position on the horizon. The difference is on this one compared to that one, and there's some green flashing, um, is that during uh, this sunset, I had mirroring. And with this sunset, that mirroring 
blocks off a big band across your vision. Now you can call it a mirage band, a mirroring band, or or the ether band. Um, and you could also call it uh, water bands too, because these water bands are really uh, much lower than what the mirroring does. In my opinion, what happens with this mirroring effect, when there is a mirroring effect on there, it causes a ramp up, and that ramp up blocks out the lower portion of the sun, just like it does on boats, just like it does on other objects that's setting within that mirroring band. Now, right here, you can obviously see that there's a mirroring going on, a big sloth of it out there, a big band. It might look small because I'm not zoomed in, but if I was to zoom in, that band is a big gap right there. Again, you know, looking across a tabletop um, from a higher perspective, you see the whole tabletop. Um, say it's a 10 foot table, you get down low to that table at eye level and you turn that 10 foot into a little bitty sliver. Now we're talking about the surface of that table. Now, you change your angle so your angular resolution changes and when that angular resolution changes and you've got this ramped up mirroring um, it blocks out a whole big swath of your horizontal plane and yes people it's a plane um, you can see these clouds mirroring themselves um, you might say, oh, no, that's just the tip tops of the clouds. No, that's mirroring, mirror images of, of these clouds. What's above is also below. It goes the same with boats, other objects that are caught in the mirror. You get double, double vision. Hey, you do notice these dragonflies flying across my screen. Even some little bugs now and then you'll see fly across there. And that's what those dragonflies are after, is those little bitty bugs. <laughs> but here we go. Now, again, you see this uh, little bit of a football edge on the ends. And uh, there's another thing you'll notice, too. Um, there will be a boat coming into, uh, into this uh, video here shortly. I believe this is the footage, or, yeah. Or maybe, maybe I've been watching too many sun videos, but I thought there was a boat to come into this. Uh, it's off to the left, just off to the left side of it, but I, I, I think I'm wrong. That must have been the other one I was watching the other night. But, bam, there you go. Nice and green, big flash there. And watch as I back out. Um, I'll show you some of these dragonflies that are here. A little clip of it. And uh, stay tuned for uh, my dragonfly clip. I'm going to put it out there. Um, I was trying to focus on uh, some of these dragonflies when they were... I tried to zoom in a little bit and focus my camera on them to... <laughs> try to get one that will come into the screen and hover in front of me, but these things were moving around so quick. <laughs> I couldn't get a focus on them worth a bean when I tried. All right, thanks for watching. Bang!